label. Oh. Bitch, this shit on the stool. Label. Bitch, I got the flow that you can't step on. This my rule. Yo, Dirty, what's poppin'? This your boy Starter Camp checking in one time for the one time, and I'm back again with another Dirty Daily Podcast, man. And look, we went down to the South and we went and got us something from the from the uh from the from the gritty, gritty south. You feel what I'm saying? I'm talking about the dirty, dirty south, somebody from the bottom. You feel what I'm saying? The homie Big Boogie CMG representative is in the building. Boogie, what yes, up, bro? Sir. What's up, what's up with it? Yes, sir, man. And just I see you on that road. Um, I, I know that you've been you've been moving and grooving. You you were just in Atlanta last night, um, doing the coalition thing. Uh let, let's start from the beginning, man. Like this 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 whole movement that you've got going on let me know where it started from and and how you got into this music business where it started from like i was i was in school so i, I was a drum major at first but i didn't pay attention to, about no rapping and all that you see what i'm saying so where red rum came from is like it came from uh, like my neighborhood so i seen all the negative i seen everything i seen what was going on so i turned into positive so I came in with the industry, so I, I took it with the rap, so I came here, so as big and global now. It's big and global for sure. Big Boogie, you, you stand by your name for sure because a lot of big things have definitely been going on in your life, man. Recently, yeah. you just you just, you just, just recently got the chain, which is, I guess, you know, the chaining day officially stamped with CMG. Uh, the big homie, Yo Gotti, gave you your chain. But you've been affiliated with CMG for a while now. How that relationship started? Yeah, I, yeah I've, been, I've been affiliated with, with CMG for like three years now. Oh, wow. So how did that, how did that, how did that relationship come, come together? Um, I, was, I was already buzzing on my own. So, so but, it's like, but it's like he came out the blue and we, and we got a bun and all that. You see what I'm saying? But I was still working. Like we already had a deal and everything. We already had a bond on what was going on. So it's like, it's like I kept doing what I ever wanted to do. So I kept doing my own thing, and they kept doing their own thing. It wasn't, it wasn't step. It was step, but it wasn't book. You see what I'm saying? So right. it's like when we was together, it was, it was step. It was, it was all love. But it's like when we by ourselves, we ain't gonna let the outsiders know until it's time. You see what I'm saying? So it's only a moment. It's only a amount of time or what things to do. And and the timing is 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 any any more perfect than it is because you recently just dropped your your uh your debut mixtape with Final Nightmare. And for those who don't know, what part of Louisiana are you from? Tulula. Wow. And 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 it's like coming from where you come from, right? You talk about on a thong on a song that you had uh with 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 uh Money Bag Yo, you got a song called Thugging, right? You say yeah, 2010. You know what I mean. Take us back. Let's go back to 2010 when you was when you was thugging for real. You know what I mean. You was out here thugging for real. And uh, I mean, <laughs> take us back to that day. 2010. I was I was bad. I was bad. Well, like I was real bad. Like I ain't need, I ain't come for school. I ain't come for nothing. Like I was just thugging. Like I was doing everything negative. Like everything negative. See what I'm saying? But I never, I never robbed anybody. I never did. You see what I'm saying? Like, I never did. I never put myself in the street, in the street way. You see what I'm saying? I was in the streets, but I wasn't doing nothing street. You see what I'm saying? So it was, I was around people that were street. I was around people doing this and doing that. But it's like I was, I was the one that was stealing from my mama. You see what I'm saying? Like, sneaking out the house and coming to the house late. And right. I was doing it. Like, I was doing, I was doing so much. And I was, and I just, I'm, I'm thugging. Like, I mean, I don't know what to do. I'm talking. Nah, that's real. I mean, you was you 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 put your you put your you put your, you put your heart on your you put your heart on your sleeve with that record because you definitely showed the people that you know you came from nothing for real. Like you you may be in a place where you are now with all the glitz and the glam, but you were just as equal as the next man that you know that's come from nothing. And and it's a beautiful thing now to see that you've grown and you've matured. So what I always ask a lot of artists is, what's one thing that you want to tell that young, that young big boogie, you know what I'm saying, that's on the come up right now, that may be out there thugging right now? Like, what's one thing you want to tell them? I mean, if I can do it, they can do it. You see what I'm saying? But it's like, they got to keep God first and keep going. They got to have faith in themselves. They can only have faith in the person that's telling you you're going to have faith. Like, they can have faith in you, but they might not, they might not like what you're doing. You see what I'm saying? So... 
just, they just gotta be them. Just gotta be you, keep going. Man, I should be a motivation to them. Nah, and, and you are. You definitely are a motivation to them. You're a motivation to me as well. Because when I saw you in the studio um, with your daughter, when you were doing the live performance of Mental Healing, it just, it touched me because I got three boys. You know what I mean? And I know every parent out there is as, is, is as close to their kids as they want to be. But you kind of, you, you brought us in on, in a totally different perspective by bringing your daughter into the studio, into the actual work recording in the vocal booth and recording that live session for us as passionately as you did. Like, tell us the inspiration behind that song in general and, and how that whole moment came about. I mean, like I said, everybody asked me about how did I make this song and I, I don't know. I, I, I'm going to continue saying I don't know because I don't know what made me get, it, get in that mode or making that song, but it's like, I don't feel like that song was for me. I feel like that song was for people that was feeling down, down by they sit back. I feel like I, this song was for people like out there this feel down on themselves. They ain't got it all or don't got no mindset or they can have talent, but they not, they don't have no power enough to go get it, to use it or they on their own. So I feel like this song was for people to bring they self to be of lift, not me. I was just a messenger, you see what I'm saying? So that's what I really feel like, I was just a messenger. And God sent messages in strange ways, man. And I feel like that song definitely touched a lot of hearts, man. You you performed that song at a lot of your shows and 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 seeing a lot of your shows, like when I see the crowd, I mean you you you've gone to shows, I'm sure you've gone to a, a plethora of shows and you've seen some performances, but when you see that crowd light up the way they do, man, what goes through your body when those when those lights phone and the camera phones come on and they quoting your song word for word? You cutting the DJ out, you telling the DJ stop playing the music and they just singing your song. What goes through your body when that moment happens? Like chills go through my body, I don't have nothing else. Like it just, yeah, I mean, cause I always wanted it. I, I always, I like, I can watch a rapper documentary or vlog or anything that's on, on YouTube and I'll be like, man, like, I feel like it'll give me chills of people singing their song. That's real. It and I mean, real, I mean, I'm sure when you see real. it, when you see it, when you see it for yourself and it's happening for you, I'm sure you, you feel a certain type of way about it. And it's a beautiful thing to see that. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, maybe weird, it'd be weird feeling with me. I'd be like, that's crazy. Like, that's crazy. That is, but it like, I, I really thank them people that, that like, I thank all my fans that do that because, like, they really took their time out to know my words. They really took the time out to understand how I'm feeling. What, what was on my heart? What was on my chest? And they singing it, and they and they and they can relate to it. They make me make more music like that. Right. And now, and now, in 2020, man, like you, you definitely, of course, you've still been creating great music in, during the pandemic. But I always ask people, what have you learned during this pandemic? During this 2020, what's one thing that Big Boogie has learned and wants to share with the people? I, I really, I learned it. I learned that talent is real. I learned that God is real. He'll never give up on you. But I, I, I learned like, I learned like the hate is real. You know, the devil gonna try to always stop you, but like God is never, God will never let that happen to you. Like, he like God won't, God ain't hurting his, his children. You see what I'm saying? So right. you gotta keep him up. You gotta stay uplifted. You gotta, you gotta stay prayed up. You gotta keep faith in him. You gotta keep faith in yourself. So. I mean, life real, but it's, it's, it's what you make it. Facts. No, that's big facts. I think I think this pandemic has taught a lot of people how to stay humble, too. You know what I mean? This like, pandemic taught me how to, this pandemic taught me how to stay away from people and stack money and have fun with self. Like, I mean, everything positive vibes, that's what it taught me. That's real. No, nah, and then, like, it's, it's crazy that, that we're going through this pandemic and and now like they they the 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 momentum behind so many things that's happened has come down to uh, a a nation trying to unify right like i think what's one thing that you think can yeah. can can bring people to your music or what's one thing you want people to get from your music i just want i just want them to, i just want them to hear me out and i just want them to like really i just want them to feel me you see what i'm saying like like 
just be, if they feeling down or anything they going through it or anything, just cut me on. You see what I'm saying? It don't matter. You could be sad going through it or anything. Just cut me on, y'all bitch, your vibe. Your, your vibe gonna change. Man, you gonna, you gonna be happy for the rest of the day. I just want them to, I just want people to be happy and I'll I be happy with my music, so. Nah, that's facts. That's definitely facts. So, like, is it is there any more, like, what can we expect in 2021? Like, is there going to be some some big releases or how how we planning to roll out for 2021? Is there any new music coming? Ah, uh, it's buku music coming. I'm talking about, it's, I, 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 I got Bibles ready. <laughs> I mean, but hey, like, it's going to be a bigger and better Big Boogie. Like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm awesome right now, but uh, I'm talking about bigger and better perfect big book coming come in 2021 like because i feel like 2021 owed me you know what i'm saying 2020 i went through hell and i gave you hell but 2021 they owe me though that's so real going on, so the whole year they got to see me i'm right now nah, I, I believe that <laughs> was one i mean let me ask you this because i mean i'm sure your relationship with your Gotti is very strong and very tight and i always ask people like what type of inspiration has has, has your Gotti been to you? And what's one piece of advice that he's given you that you would like to share? Uh, Yo Gotti taught me how to, like, well, he didn't, he didn't teach me, like, he just gave me the game of how to be a hustler. Like, like, just, you gotta, be, you gotta, you gotta believe in, you gotta believe in the time and, like, the process, you gotta, you gotta believe in it. You can't, Forget the money. The money gonna be there regardless. You you gonna forever get out to get the money. You learn how to be happy. You see what I'm saying? Learn how to be happy. Stay smiling. Keep going. Man, right? just just be you. Like don't rush nothing. Else. Just just be you. No, that that's fact. They were they were they Nah, that's dope. That's dope. Cause like every time I see, and it's definitely working for you. Cause every time I see you on the ground, you got a big ass smile, bro. <laughs> like you ain't never, you ain't never frowning, bro. Like you ain't got no reason to be frowning. So like, and if anything, if you watching this now and, and, and you want some inspiration, you need to go follow Big Boogie so you can get your smile together. Cause my brother got his smile together every time on the ground, y'all. But um, I mean, I mean he did, he did that point like like me person like. It, it don't matter if you if you it, it don't matter if you broke, you rich, man. You you got you get money or you you trying to get it, man. You gotta smile because God woke you up to do it. You see what I'm saying? Like, only way you only way you gonna start smiling if you in the cash. That's all. Mm. You gotta you gotta smile when you wake up, man. You gotta thank God to keep smiling and going on. It don't matter if you broke or not. Man, smile because you don't smile regardless. That's that's, a, that's real. one gift you gotta open first. Yeah, that's, that's, that's real. That's real, bro. Now, nah, man, listen, man. You a solid brother, and I I wish you the best and much success. Like this 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 interview was very 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 eye opening to your personality. I already knew that you were a fun and happy person just off of your Instagram. But being able to be granted the opportunity to interview you has been a, a pleasure. You feel what I'm saying? And um, if people yeah. want to follow you, where do they go? Oh, they got to follow me on Instagram, big underscore boogie underscore music. You know, these tags sound a little long, but you know, it's big boogie music with two underscores. Or uh, Facebook, Boog Lots. You see what I'm saying? Like, like two of them. People still on Facebook. <laughs> I people be on Facebook that they be on it, man. You know? <laughs> I mean, but I be on I be on Instagram when I be on Facebook, but now it's like tip for tip. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like it, yeah, I got different type of fans, like from everything, like so it, it be crazy. It be crazy. What's the weirdest thing, right? Now I always ask people this: What's the weirdest thing a fan or a supporter has came and done to you? on the road? Cause I'm sure you've been on the road a lot. What's one thing that a fan has done that's just surprised you? Um, um, or like a fan, like, like, they, like when they, they cry in my face. When you, like yeah. One, one fan cried in my face before. Wow. One fan got my name tatted on them. Like, <laughs> he said, sheesh. <laughs> uh, it, 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 it's plenty weird. It, I can name them like, I just gotta think, like, for the moments how it happened. I'm sure there's a lot of moments that's, and, and and I'm sure there's even more moments yet to come, man. Like you, <laughs> you, you are a unique breed of character, man. And, and it's gonna be a lot of people 
that's going to be definitely screaming your name in them crowds when we get back out here for real, for real, and able to do these monumental yeah. shows, man. Like, uh, um, out of the out, out of the album, let's talk about the album real quick. Out of the album, what are three songs that you recommend that people need to go listen to right now if they haven't listened to them yet? Your your top I three. I said the whole album, but but if you say but you said three. Yeah, just you three. Three. Oh, uh, my scars, mentally, and in session, like they gotta listen to it. Yeah, those three are definitely three of my favorites. But the whole twenty five minutes, it's nine records, right? It's nine records. Of eight, 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 it's eight, it's eight records. I think I listened to Mental Healing twice, so I made it nine. <laughs> I, I listened to Mental Healing about two, three times, so I made it about nine, nine records. But it's eight records on this project. Twenty-five minutes of great listening and great mental healing as well, for real. So make sure y'all go check out my brother Big Boogie Music on Instagram, and also go check out that new project, Final Nightmare. Man, it's out now on our project CMG Red Rum. You know what I'm saying? And it's dirty yes, daily. Sir. It's dirty daily. Yes, it's like sir. that. We gone.